All right. Hello, world. Let's see. Got a little, uh, a little new setup here, so we're gonna just check it out real quick and make sure everything's cool. Where are we going? We're going to the desktop. We're going to the scratch pad. We're going to Pi Charm. We're going to numbers. And then we're gonna print the numbers. Twenty-seven. All right. So. Just for reference, at the start of the stream, we got 27 lines by 102, or I guess 26, whatever. I did a bunch of video tests trying to figure out how to size stuff right and didn't notice that this actually gives me the numbers of the rows and columns up here until after I finished everything. Still cool, still a good experience. Uh, I've also set up now and got my monitor working in high res again, which is awesome. Going through the Elgato card, and so I think that's gonna make it sharper to look at. We'll figure that out. And yeah, so cool, we're off. Uh, so what we're gonna do to start with is um, on my Hugo site, let's see, uh, we need to get it running locally. So Hugo serve, is it already running? Deprecated, why is that? Oh, I thought I fixed that. 113 is already in use. Somehow, Hugo keeps running. Oh, I think I killed a process to update iTerm. Um, so process, ELF, I forget what that stands for. Grep, Hugo. Yeah, it's running. Um, doesn't actually hurt anything to have it running in the background. Now that I think about it, I can just leave it sit. Uh, yeah, because when you build the site, it builds out fine, so it should be fine. Uh, let's see. So what I need to find is a page that has code on it. Uh, playing with styles, this sounds likely. Whoops. Good lord. I really got to get on getting all this stuff. So what I'm looking for is building a local version of Gifli. This might have some code. Yeah, OK, so this is where I went through the other day and came up with my own style sheet for code blocks that I'm still very happy with. And but the thing that I want to do, there's another line in here. I want to see. Here it is. I want to see if there's a way to apply the style to that. And it may just be, it's maybe super simple. It may be just, I add the highlight tag to it. Uh, what's this file? Oh, check this out. Are we on localhost? We are edit. Yeah. I got it. It's too big for me to mess with though. Right now on the screen, it's, I've got everything blown up giant on the screen so that it works hopefully well on uh, smaller browsers. But so here's, there's my code. What I was thinking about doing is, where's that OSA? There we go. Yeah, so it puts it in a code block, but it doesn't apply all the table stuff to it, or all the extra chroma stuff to it, which I would like it to do even if I just do, uh... so it's tabbed over to indicate a code block. I mean, you could always, there's a highlight line. Right, so one approach would be, probably gonna put all this stuff in the wrong place, but we'll fix that in a second. And then we close the highlight. Nope, that. Uh, you go away for 
a second. Yeah, see, one approach would be to do that. What happens if we turn table off? Also, might as well call it command since it's a command line thing. Yeah, if we take table off, that's when it loses its stuff. Just make sure it wasn't going to command. I don't think it was. Whoops, CMD. Yeah, so the question is, how do we get it? How do we apply all that styling when there's no table across it? And that might be trickier than I was thinking. So let's find that OSA again. Yeah, it doesn't apply code language command data span s2 finder wait a minute that's different isn't it oh 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 wait a minute i thought when i took i'm confused there's no background color there. I didn't change anything. I mean, I took a space out, but. Am I hallucinating again? So it's called, let's put in a span in there around the thing. That had a dark background a second ago. Div class. So, okay, so it does, when you put the highlight around it, call the code block. I'd prefer to not have to do that and just be able to like call it code, but you know, this is fine. But why isn't this getting styling? Let's put that where we can see it. So there's that. Oops. Whoa, where'd that go? What was that? No idea. Uh, copy. I can't tell you how nice it is to get back to a high resolution monitor. Oh. So highlight div class chroma, which is different, or sorry, pre class chroma, which is different than div. Doesn't have that. Gets into code down here. Oh, here's your pre class chroma. Pre class chroma. All right, so why? Doesn't that apply when there's no table on it? Oh, also, why is that getting there? Something's wrong. There's gotta be a space there, space there. This shouldn't be code. Why is that code? Oh, wait a minute, I get it. So it lost the... idea of where the code block is. There we go. Okay, so this is now all attached. Figure this out in a second. Whoops. Here we go, and here we go. Okay, that's back to normal. I don't like the spacing, but that's okay. We can work on that in a minute. Hmm. No, uh, 
that'll be it for that. So we got that. And it's converting. So now what we need to do is find... Syntax. So I think this is the one that I made. This is the one that I made. I don't know why it has that in front of it. Is that... Uh, themes. I don't know what that is. It kind of concerns me. Oh, maybe because it's not SCSS? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on. How's this? I guess it just knows to find the CSS file, and it's processing it. Oh, it is CSS. It's not SCSS. One of which may be a superset of the other, but... um. But this is the pigments file, so this is what's applying the styles. So chroma, uh, language XML. Interesting. Why are there no other languages in there? Hmm. Oh, I added that right, right, because I wanted to make the strings in XML were too uh, standoutish, standouty, standouting. Here's a background. We might be able to do something with that. Because it's... So it's applying the style. Because it's got that. Let's see. Inspect elements. Command. See, it's in this coma, it's in this div highlight. Ooh, that div highlight is all over the place. Look at this. I should open this in different windows. Yeah, it's got a bunch of padding on it. Okay, that's fine. The div chroma is the one. Here, let's do this. Tabs, please. No, actually, we just do this. Copy. Is that how you move? Wait, why didn't it move? That's how you move. And. Where's our little line? Here we go. So there's all the space. Uh, make this smaller for a second. Hopefully, you can still read it. Gotta move that down. I'd like to be able to move that down. Uh, nope. Oh well. There it stays. Let's see what's underneath there. Is that got a margin underneath there too? All right, whatever. First things first. That's got it. Why is application highlighted? Oh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we don't want to do all highlight. We don't want to do all that. 
Don't want to do all that. Crap, that's all we got. Because we did class code language command, data line command, we'd have to make one for everything. Chroma would just be that giant thing. We could do, why isn't that in something? Got that table going. Hmm. Don't understand why that was built that way. So if we, no, see that's not, I don't want to apply it to all that stuff. Here, what is this? Background colors transparent, font size, padding zero, wait a minute. Line height, white space, highlight, text align. That certainly doesn't look like it's going to have... That whole blue area. How do we do this? Oh, wait, can I just do this? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's because it's splitting to a new line. That's what's going on, okay. So to start with, let's see if that chomps as well. Oh yeah, because we, this is in pre-encode, okay, yeah, whatever. Let's make it that color. And by that color, I mean that color. And did that also... Okay, that also kept the formatting. So it's, I want the, I can't highlight it. Um, one, two, three, whatever the bullet lists are, the numbered list. So I wanted to show up as code That also explains why that was down there. Okay, so this is making sense. I need to look at that like this for a second. That makes sense. Oh yeah, look, oh, uh, wait a minute. I wonder if that's gonna make all those go too. Because we don't want that. So. Let's look at that one more time. Pre-code, crap. Um, Cause that's the same. Here's code, here's pre and there's code. Hmm. So how do you get to that? Highlight pre-code, can you do, cause this highlight Like that tree's different. So can you actually address the tree? This is where I don't know CSS that well. But that's what we're here to do is learn. CSS selector. If 
find the elements to which I set a little supply. Match any in the documents. Text selector, element name, right. So can't I just... Classes flex all div elements and all p elements and all of that flex all p elements inside. Div. Yeah, so if I just do if I just do the selection, of div pre code, how do you do div with highlight? So wouldn't you do a href a I've never done CSS selectors like this before. But so wouldn't we do where is it? Uh so let's just try and get one going. Language English select all elements all elements with lying English lying in whatever select an a element whose href attributes begins with https select a with address value ends with HTTPS. Yes. Oh, oh 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 so that's the start href bang okay so got it and then if we want to do it exactly we do it Elements with target equals blank, yeah. Select all elements with a target attribute. Okay, so let's see if we can find something here. So we're gonna look for Let's just start with div highlight. My question is I feel like I feel like there's a different syntax for oh whatever. See if this works. I really wish I could make that move down. Okay, so that found it. Where did this refresh? Did it? It did. Okay. All right, so we're here. But we're probably also. Oh, wait, it didn't. Oh, yeah, it did. So all these went red. Uh, because that's all under this highlight tag. So we found the highlight tags, but now, right, we should be able to do, select all P elements inside divs, right? So we could, forgot what our, I think it's pre, right? Is what we're looking for, pre and code. That limit us. Okay, so those went back. That's good. Is this still nope? Hmm. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, pretty good. What if we just do this? 
Okay, that got it. And then these shouldn't have... Oh, it does. Crap. Oh, because it's not a direct descend... Or it's it doesn't matter if it's direct descendants. Here we go. Selects all P elements where the parent element is div. So that's what we want to do. That. That. So that's black, which is good, and that's red, which is good. Okay, so that's how we get to those. Now, the question is... So that... I could be more specific and add div class highlight. Does that work? Nope. There's got to be a way to do that. Kinda doesn't matter because that's only. Wait a minute. Well, it does matter. Oh, why can't I move that? Wait, what does this do? Oh, that's helpful. Break out. Whatever. I hope you can see that line. Hopefully it's, it's mainly just the color that I'm worried about. But. So div, why didn't that work? Div pre code. We'll just do div pre. Okay, that worked. But then it went away. What's going on? We all saw it change a second ago, right? Next browser, please. And here it's red. Something's cached somewhere. And it's not there. Yeah, because div pre, it doesn't have that. That's not the order that it comes in for the tables. It goes div, chroma, blah, 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 blah. And then pre's down here. So like that would, now it's red again. Oh, what the hell? Now it's not red again. This is a frustrating part of development. And not went green. It just went green. I don't understand the caching that's going on there. Um, Oh, actually, here's the thing. I want to be able to kill and restart the Hugo server, which I got to be able to do. Uh... So here's its ID. Thank you. Let's try this again. Now it refreshed and now it's there. Okay, control R. Hey, and it stayed. So maybe you gotta refresh every time after, I mean like stop and start the server. Crap. Like that was all inconsistent because something somewhere was cached, you're doing something back in the back. Anyway, so that would actually do it. Uh, I'm gonna be a little more specific and I'm actually gonna use this as a test to get down because I don't know, there may be times when I need it to be really explicit. 
uh, and I would rather be explicit. So I want to figure this out, which may take an hour. Uh, so code, let's go red again. Save it. Okay, that works. And now refreshing works. So that's in highlight. Oh, that's probably should be a little bigger. Oops, that's hard to see now. Yeah, so I want to I want to do this full. I want to add those classes into the mix. Um, element with class. P dot. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Wrong page. So div dot highlight. Three dot chroma, I think. Let's try green. Green, all right. We targeted it it's really specifically. And I, this language is gonna change every time depending on what's in there. But, um, and then we shouldn't see any green down here. Yeah, because it doesn't have the same uh, hierarchy path uh, explicitly. Hey, I learned something about CSS today. And now let's fix this so the question if i put a dash here what happens it explodes if i put a dash here what happens ah i hope oops Oh, it made it not the comment. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, I was trying to see with outputs in Hugo, the dashes chomp white space. Oh, that looks like a little squinty dude. Uh, but so now I think what I'm gonna have to do is just do it the old fashioned way and do that. I think that pulled it up, maybe, did it? Yeah. Uh, where's background? We can just check that. Yeah. It's just a lot of space in there and I'm not sure about that. Um, ah, where am I going? Oh, right. Oh yeah, so I can put the background explicitly on there. Um, what does that look like down here? That's a lot of padding. Let's do this. Where's our CSS? So we're gonna have We're just gonna take this and drop it right here. And there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I want to add that little border to it. This would be the border. Uh, yeah, we're going to want a little padding in there too. That ain't bad. Why does it look like it dropped the top the border? One picks should be. Why is it only doing the sides? sense I'm 
I'm not gonna worry about that. It's close enough. Uh, I may actually leave it up at three because it doesn't have the sides. Yeah. We can make that other one too. Oops. Ooh, I kind of like that too. Oh, that's nice looking. What does three look like? It's probably too much, but we'll see. Yeah, too much. I like that, and I like that. Okay, that's what I was wanting to do. Let me see if I can drop a little bit of that space off of it. Why is it? Oh, it turned it into a. Uh, uh oh, that's bad. Is that just because I've got the font all messed up? No, what's going on there? Crap. See, that doesn't do that. Why? Hang on a second. What if we put this back on its own line? Uh, I can't have that. <sighs> on the right place? Where they go? Oh, there it is. Oh, what the hell? Um, why, oh, why is that doing that? So here's the div. Line item. There was a line item in there. Ordered list. Oh, we're in here somewhere. Color, font size. Okay, nothing really is happening there that I see. Line height, one four, maybe? Pre chroma. And padding, font size, and the scroll. That's from the HTML, though. That doesn't make sense. I wonder if it's because it's split. It shouldn't be. Background border padding, color, font size. Border radius. Let's see. Nothing in there tells me why it would be scrolling. Turn that off, turn that off. Still scrolling. I'm just killing stuff and see when it happens. Still scrolling. What else can I kill? Font size.
Burr. Ooh, don't do that. So what's the pre got for us? Overflow. What's this gonna do? Oh, it turns all kinds of crap off. There we go. Overflow X bottom. Okay. And I don't like the three there. So we're gonna fix that while we're here. And that's gonna bring everything back. It's not scrolling again. Okay. But we know where we're targeted, which is this. So that has a lot of padding. Code has a lot of padding. Nope. Oops. Come here. White space, pretty font. I was trying to figure out where padding started coming in from. I think you can turn that off. Padding zero. Padding one M. That's it. Okay. So if we turn that padding off, Oh, I added that, right? So is that what caused the... Scroll? It certainly looks that way. Also, that two doesn't work as good on the... Uh, whatever. Uh, that's really weird that it pads... Oh, I'm padding code and the pre has the overflow. Ha, got it. So really what I should do is bounce up. Yeah, let's bounce up. Grab that. That should basically be, yeah, okay. Hmm, I kind of like it on the code though, because it just highlights the stuff as compared to going out. Um, now nah, you know what? Let's whoops. Let's let this happen. And if we put padding left one um, here, there we go. I don't really totally know where you should be doing this. I just kind of try things until it looks right. This definitely needs to be one now, though. That's it. And I should also, so if we look at code, yes, yeah, so the code's not splitting to the other line, so that's OK. Pre's not splitting to another nine. Div, there we go. So there's just. Just the. Where do you see the. Uh... Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, okay, that's it. Yeah, so. Div. The margin, right? Yeah, margin at 16. Uh, so for this, and that's on the div of highlight, which is also going to be on this. It's a little much, but actually, let me look at it for. Actual size. Oh, nope, that's not right. Yeah, I kind of prefer that to be mushed together more, but it's fine. Or let's put it this way. That's I've spent enough time on that for now, so 
I may fiddle with it later, but I got I got to do what I want. Yeah, and so I'm cool with not having to just do, um, let's see. Uh, without table. Background for blocks without table. How about that? Kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. Yeah, I would take some of the padding off of it, but... That'll be just fine. Cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sweet. All right, so that's got that. Uh, nice. Here, let's do this. Let's stream minutes. Actually, don't need all that. Let's just add this. Which I can highlight with CSS. All right, cool. So now what we're gonna do, wow, that was 47 minutes, that's awesome, is we're gonna make responsive photos. So that's all cool, that's all cool, that's all cool, you're good. All right, let me close out some of these things here. Might as well put that link in because it was helpful. It's able to open. There we go. Let me put that link in. Get rid of that, 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 that. Here we go. So now what I need to do is find a while ago and a while ago, I started working on 2014, good Lord. Maybe two. Uh, photo. Trust Photoshop's JavaScript color thing. Taking photo import script now. Is it on this page, maybe? Photo import script, nope. I'm gonna grep it here in a minute. I didn't know it wasn't that far back. Flexible, responsive, MN solution. Here we go. This is what I'm working on. Uh, so I need to see how, where I am on this and how it's working. Because um, the goal is to make images that call out properly. Whoops, let's do this. Um, Yeah, here we go. Move the site all in a single directory. Store images at their full size. Devices don't download images larger than they need to make pages faster. Automatically resize so they don't download, right? Bigger ones. Set up so smaller images are rendered as big as they can be without upsizing so we don't lose quality. Prevent images larger than necessary from being generated or made available. So 
so let's see how because it's gotta have first grid is sold so should be like store images call it with something and then what's this I know I spent a bunch of time working on this. I just, I can't remember if it was done. Um, I mean, it's, so wait a minute, is this? Yeah. So like, there they are. It's still calling a bigger image. Um, What's this? Hugo scope variable and template. You scratch it's got the outer scope variable. I don't know why I had that in here. Uh, so this is working. Let me get out of that this way. Nope. There we go. Now what? Oh, edit. Look at this. Click edit. Oh, I'm so happy I made that. All right, so here is the page. Here's the image calls. So image two, so it's gonna have, but that's just making, I mean, I guess it, it's working. So step one, but really what I wanted to do Okay, so I'm calling the image. Okay, so I'm using image source set and then letting the browser make the determination about what image it's gonna call. But this is where I got confused. Um, because when I was first doing this, max width 680. Style max width, scratch, get figure, max width. Hmm. I don't remember all the stuff that I did. Uh, yeah, see, here's all the image sizes that it can make. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig back into this. I don't remember, like, it's working. What was this? I'm gonna mention new tab. Yeah. Also, the images are all. Uh, I actually don't know if I want them to all stored in a single directory or not. Uh, I may actually want them associated with the files. Uh, originally, I was thinking I would just have them all in a single in a single repository. Um, but now I kind of don't want to do that. These are not the apples you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, see, it's calling that giant image to render it this big. That's where I got stuck. This says playlist not keep going. Crap, that one. All right, we're gonna risk it and see what's up tempo here. Oh, we have to murder some of these. All right, so let me see if I can re-understand what's going on here, because it's been a year. Uh, you live. 
All right, what is this? Oh, that was my temp holding place. Okay, that's my stream notes. That's the file we're on now. That's the code we were looking at, right? Yeah, okay, that's where we're putting in the uh, highlight. Here's our style sheet. I guess I should commit all this stuff. All right, might as well commit it. I fixed that. back and watch me do get commits I'm never gonna get a good job again it's all just my stuff folks all right so where oh where was that file Right, so surely you don't have to add this to every file, uh, do you? Let's actually look at this in context. And by context, I mean content. A flexible, responsible image. Oh, so the images are in the same directory. Wait, how'd that zero one get called? Oh, okay, so I must have tested a Mara. I must have tested them locally and then broke out. Let me do something first. You go responsive image. Somebody did it before me. Not surprisingly. I think I looked at some of these too. Like maybe that one. Responsive images. So set, yeah. The current information is responsive and since the image change and so we can provide several sizes of to the clients with small screens like one less and spend less on traffic, yeah. We can do this using source set image attribute and build in Hugo functionality to size images, for example this article. If greater than source width 800 or 500 with tiny rel perm link. Oh, I think I did look at this one. I don't want to do lazy loading. test uh instead of that yeah you gotta call it with that okay let me just look through these Run on it. 
how do we do? Oh, it's so nice to have high res back. Whatever, keep going. This is CDN, image compression, content organization, image processing, video themes, responsive images. You have traded images, second. You have to provide them an HTML reference with the browser sheet's the right one, since you go to static generator, HTML code above building. Do that manually versus us to do that. Manage comes user page resources, yeah. I think one of these is what we just looked at. It's probably exactly that same code. Only use images smaller or equal to the original source size. Use well, yeah. Let's set the size attributes. I'm almost just gonna put this in place. Cause I I just don't know why it's calling that. See, that one is the right size. Like there is an image size available for this one. up to 1300 picks. Max width 510. I don't remember all this code at all, or this code at all. These are not the apples you're looking for. Uh, but like it's working. Max Wix 680, yeah, so. See, I think part of this might be because it's high res. And that's what was throwing me. Oh, you know what I could do? Uh, let's take the high res out of the equation for a minute. All right. Goodbye, high res. We'll see you shortly. Oh, it's so blurry. God, it's so blurry. I wonder if we'll be able to tell. Actually, let's do this. That's why my eyes have been hurting for days. All right, so refresh that. Open image, new tab. What are we gonna get? Not that one. Let's make sure. Ah, uh, maybe that was it. It's the high res stuff. That's what was throwing me then. Because I made, how do we do this? Can't see 660 by O. Uh, where is this? Image max width 680 which is really, I've got 10 pixels as border. 
Max what, 600. Here's 660. There's also a 1320. Okay, so I think that's what's happening, which makes sense. I never thought about switching resolutions when I was messing with this, and I kept seeing the higher res images, and it just kept throwing me. Because when... I think this is what's happening. So if I try and open this, that's that. That's the 1320. This is the 660. So while we're here, let's do this. Let's make a new window, let's size it down. Let's do, whoops, how do you do it? Nope, nope. Let's close that and start again. Uh, size it down, and how about Command Shift R? There we go. So we're at low res on a phone, which it thinks is, oh yeah, 1x, 2x, oh look at this, this is pretty slick. Three twenty. Okay, so this is width times height. Okay. Close that and just get a fresh start at this. So we're on 320 by 568 at 2x. So here's our call. Here's our image. What did it call? See, I called the 1321. Which 320, it would be 640. Why didn't it call the 660 image? Now what did it do? Same thing? Ooh, now it called a smaller image. Now called the 420. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so, it, okay, it's working. I didn't have this test uh, suite in a dope. Ooh, that almost got weird. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. Or, okay, so it's doing, it's doing its thing. I was super confused about it and didn't understand it, so didn't wanna didn't wanna push it out, but I get it now. It's it's working, so I built this a year ago. Uh cool. The question becomes Image source Right, so this is this in short codes? Short codes go. Probably down here somewhere. I hope. Nope. Nope. Oh. Who are you? Image two. Grab source alt and caption from page before moving the image directory so you can be 
So that's after me. Yeah. Flip over to the page that houses all the images. Okay, so I made a page where you just throw all the images. Grab the image that matches source file name. Note that it must be exact, of course. Some of the responsive images. Examples use fuzzy matching, but that like making it explicit. Yes. Pick up the width of the raw image for later comparison. Set the width of a figure element to the raw image size. Since that may be bigger than the desired. 680. Check to see if it's. If it is, then resize it down if needed. The reason to do this is scratch. Install the figure math which to be updated from inside the if statement. Give some padding. Out of the figure would reduce the size of an already small image. Use a little more. Okay, yeah. Grab the max width, flip it down to 20. Okay, yeah. Or add 20, sorry. It's greater. Define image sizes. There's your sizes. So this must be 680 times 2. So I was just doubling it, right? Wrapper, max width. I don't totally get. Oh, so max width would be. So the max width of the figure based on element, based on the. Uh, of the figure element, based off a variable set earlier. The effect of this is the image is smaller than 680 pixels. The figure will be set to that. If the image is larger than 680, the figure element will be capped at that size. Right. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. So the figure is what's drawing the box around here and given the um, text, the figure caption. But before we do that, we're gonna do this to get me back to this. The beautiful, beautiful.
Oh, the all of it exists. Okay. Um,
Get it.
finalize 